It's game time. The kid Gowie. Ravens Nation. All we know is purple and black. And if you're not a Ravens fan, welcome. Welcome to Baltimore, Maryland, yeah. M&T Bank Stadium uh -huh. Where opponents don't make it out alive unless we bury them yeah. Every team be afraid of them, especially all the quarterbacks wow. Our defensive linemen won't hesitate to leave you set right. Let's take a minute, go back to Super Bowl 35 yeah. Domination was an understatement up against the Giants uh -huh. Numerous touchdowns. touchdowns, they put up numbers yeah. and What's up, y'all? It's your boy, King Alvo 002, coming to you with another, 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 another live video. Y'all know what time it is, man. Um, This right here is going to be three Ravens. Three Ravens, um... Ready to step up. This year, three that's ready to take that leap, you know what I'm saying? But I'm King Guy Vo 002. Bop, bop, boom, boom in the building. So it's go time. Let's get to it. Smash it up, share it out. And if you're new, sub up. Y'all know what time it is. So, first up, number 54 outside linebacker, Tyus Bowser. Um, let's start with him. There's no desi there's no denying Ty's physical gifts, you know. He has a lot of good gifts, you know. Sometimes he don't get to show those gifts, but I'm going to get into that later on. Um, he possesses superior athleticism. You know, you know about that. He's quick twitch athlete, you know, whose skills fit. <laughs> What Wink wants to do with the defense. His skill set fits what he wants to do. So he fits right in at home. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we know Wink need that type of player around now that we lost. People we lost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Tyus already proved he can play zone coverage. He can drop back and, you know, cover the pass. You know what I'm saying? He proved that. That's one of the asset. That's one of those assets to Wink's defense. Basically, he is good at capping. You know what I'm saying? Capping. He he goes to the front line like he about to blitz. Then when he hikes him, he drops back in coverage. And he had a couple picks last year doing that. You know what I'm saying? Cause he's at the when he's at the line of scrimmage, he has that that burst. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta respect and gotta put him as person that's coming to blitz. Even though he's not blitzing, he looks like he's going to blitz. It's called a bluff play, you know? He's capping right now. I'm going to fake him out and when he back up, <laughs> give me that pick. You know, he, he was good at it. So, that's going to continue, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, he also has good body control. So, you got to give him that good lean, you know what I'm saying? Point of attack, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Uh, but he has struggled. You know what I'm saying? Against great teams on Sundays, and it takes away from his skills. You know, his talent when he does that. But part of that problem might not be. That might, the problem might be his assignment. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of different assignments that don't include pass rush. You know what I'm saying? He do a lot of different stuff. Good. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Debbie B was preventing him from getting huge sack numbers. You know what I'm saying? The, the stuff that they have him doing is taking away from him just straight out blitzing the quarterback, like most people. Like, he, he's doing a lot of different stuff. He's holding outside containments. He's covering. And he's blitzing occasionally. So it's like he do, he's a trick of all trades. He ain't not a one-trick pony. 
So maybe that's the reason why his sack numbers are really low. But this year, I respect I expect him to get at least eight or nine, or even nine and a half sacks. I'm expecting that from Bowser right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm expecting him from that right now. This year, he got to step up. He got to get it going. This is his time right now. You know what I'm saying? He got to do it. You feel me? Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think he should, that sax be his. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No doubt about it. All right, here we go, y'all. Next up is that boy, Justin Matabuke. You know what I'm saying? Defensive tackle. You feel me? Yeah, he here. We all know during training camp. Well, all of us don't know. But us Raven fans know. Um, Claire's Campbell, Dirk Wolf, Big Babe Brandon Williams. They was like... um. They like his work ethic, you know what I'm saying? His willingness to take in what they're telling him and show it out on the field as just, as he been here a long time. And he just got here as a rookie, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's evident as, as a natural skill. Like, it's more of a skill off the field. And he, it goes on with his skill on the field. So he's like, he's ready to put all of it together and ball out. And like a Pat Queen, you know, I'm going to call him... Metal Tank Truck. That's his name for me to this year. Metal Tank Truck. Uh, he can unleash his talent and build upon his take takeaways from last season. Well, you know, like Dirk Wolf said, you know, the kid can flat out play, you know. He's going to be a good player in this league. Um, the former Texas A&M Aggie, you know, he's a killer. He has that killer explosive first step. <laughs> He'll catch you slipping if you sleep. Powerful hands like 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 cinder blocks. You know what I'm saying? He get to you. You feel me? Um, and his ability to slip through small cracks of your offense. You can have a small crease and he'll slide through there. He get that sack or he get that running back. You know what I'm saying? He has that ability to do that. Um, he's gonna clear a lot of havoc out there, like like Pat Queen. You know. This season, let's not forget he had a soft tissue injury in his leg in the beginning of last season. You know what I'm saying, um, so that messed him up. But he returned week five, and he he came back with a with a vengeance. You know what I'm saying, he made a big impact. Soon he got back, and which made his snap count jump up on defense side of the ball. It it, it increased. You know what I'm saying. He did his thing. That's how that go. You know what I'm saying? He did it. He's, he's going to be one of them guys who just creating havoc on these offenses. I just can't wait to see it happen and for y'all to watch it with me. Hey, we're going to have a good time to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We can do this thing right. You feel me? Yeah. We here. Last but not least, the man of the hour, Patrick Queen. Pat Queen, middle linebacker number six from out of LSU Tigers. You feel me? Um, let's see. From day one, you know, <sighs> from the day that they made a pick to get that man, 28th overall pick, 2020 draft. Wink salivated over the possibility of his new defender. He was so excited. He was he was happy. You know what I'm saying? The room was just jumping for joy. They they just they just nabbed a stud. You know what I'm saying? They was really, you know, ready to go. You feel me? Um as we all know, Queen is just he's explosive. We know that, right? He uh plays with rare speed at his position, you know what I'm saying? For his position, 
he's a lot faster than most linebackers at a position, you know what I'm saying? Um, and despite his youth possess, possesses skills um, and coverage, um, he need to work on that a little bit. He's a lot better. It just, he wasn't settled. He was a little rattled, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to get to, I'm going to get to why. So hold the horse just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, but as an extinctive blitzer, ooh, he has the ability to create and wreck havoc on every play. He has the ability to do so once he get out of his own head. You know what I'm saying? Um, but however, during his rookie season, Pet only flashed. Where he could be flashed. He wasn't consistent. He had an up and down season. He was okay. But there's some questionable stuff up in there. But he's going to get a fix. I believe he will. He has a chip on his shoulder, too. He ain't win that award. Shout out to Chase Young. He won that award. You know, Ohio State. You know? Yeah. Um, hmm. He was often caught up in the hands of blockers last season, and he couldn't disengage from them. He was stuck, you know what I'm saying, a lot of times last season. So, excuse me, he had to build off of that, you know, get free of them blockers, don't let them get that pause on, you know. Get some big linemen, you know, you got to be able to get around it, you do whatever you got to do, you know. And, you know, he looked lost a little bit too last year. He looked lost a couple of times, you know. You know? Um, but he tried to make up for it with just his athleticism, he's dependent on his athleticism more than just doing the play. So he, like, he was really caught out of position a lot because he wasn't in the right spot or he was guessing. Or not, I'm going to say guessing, but second guessing if he's doing this right. And he was like a step slow to get where he needed to be. A couple of times, he, he, if he had hit that hole, he would stop the play. Second late, and they burst through. So, you know, things like that happen. So, he, he got to fix that up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, he tried to use athleticism to cover up his mishaps, his miscues. You know what I'm saying? And his inadequate, his inadequate recognition skills. Try to cover it up with that. You know what I'm saying? Which made him create some doubt in his own mind, you know? Sometimes when you're in your own head, you're your own worst enemy. You gotta get out your own head first. You know what I'm saying? So, what that meant for us is, we couldn't really see his full potential because he wasn't locked in, locked in. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. We couldn't see that physical gifts that we know he can be. We didn't see, we couldn't see what he was because it was an up and down season for him, you know. We seen glim glimpses of it. Like, oh my God, we're gonna love this guy. But then again, we're like, oh my goodness, he gotta work on this. You know, it's like it was like mixed emotions watching him play. You know what I'm saying? Um But with a year under that man's belt, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this season will be different, I promise you. Um think about this. Another year under Wink system. He got Rob Ryan too to help him out, you know. He's part of the family, you know, Rex Ryan's brother, you know. Rob Ryan, you know, they all cool with Wink, you know, all they they in cahoots, you know, for years. So this is this is not something new. This is no this is not walking apart. It's been here. This, we've been doing this. You know what I'm saying? Um familiar f familiar with the with the Winks sitting schemes was his way of okay, coming in this year. Get this down pack, learn it, remember it, play fast. You know what I'm saying? No, no thinking, just just react. You should already know what this is. Boom, get to it. Call the play, whatever you do. Um, and he gets to prepare his body too. Let's not forget, y'all. Pandemic season was was crazy. No off season to work. No teammates. You can't learn from them. Couldn't come to the coaches. Pandemic. Uh, he came back out of shape. We knew that. So 
he ain't he ain't have a regular rookie season like most rookies before the pandemic had. You know what I'm saying? That that was robbed from a lot of players last season because they didn't get a chance to do it. And and like even veteran players, it was a little robbed too because they didn't get a chance to come in and hit that gym, hit the weight room, you know, get the kinks out, all that stuff. They had to do stuff on their own. And we didn't even know we had a, was going to have a season, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, but this is going to be a different season for our defense. Um, like I said, Pat Queen, Meta Bouquet, or should I say Meta Tank Truck, are going to rock, going to wreck Havoc on these deep offenses. And we got a lot of people who can create some some, some problems. You know, Adolfe, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Malik Harrison, you know what I'm saying? You got, the you got, they will come in there. Taz Bowser, Calais Campbell, Big Baby, Dirk Wolf. They're going to have, they're they going to be ready. Now, what we all want to see, I want to see this guy blossom to what he's supposed to be. Mr. Jalen Ferguson, man. We need you to show them why they call you Sag Daddy. We haven't seen it yet, man. Live up to the name. You didn't have most of college in sacks. You know, but it's college in the NFL. I know. But get back. And then look, he might because, see, he lost the weight. He toned up a little bit, got a little buff. You know what I'm saying? He said he gained a little weight, thinking he could use his weight around. But it messed him up a little bit. Now he's about to hit a little, little weight. Toning up, and now you're gonna be able to get off that line and come get that quarterback. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're gonna see how that go. But that's it for me today. I thank y'all for watching. Bop, bop, boom, boom in the building. Guess what? I'm out of here. Gang, gang. Catch y'all later. Peace. Don't forget to smash it up and share it out. Comment below. You know what time it is. I get back to you. I always do. I catch y'all later. Stay safe out here. It's game time. Uh -huh. The kid Gowie. Yeah. Ravens Nation. Sure. All we know is purple and black. You right. And if you're not a Ravens fan, what? <laughs> welcome. Welcome to Baltimore, Maryland, yeah. MT Bank Stadium. Uh -huh. Where opponents don't make it out alive unless we bury them. Yeah. Every team be afraid of them, especially all the quarterbacks. Wow. Our defensive linemen won't hesitate to leave you set. Right. Let's take a minute, go back to Super Bowl 35. Yeah. Domination was an understatement up against the Giants. Uh -huh. Numerous touchdowns. touchdowns, they put up numbers. Yeah. And it didn't take a nutritionist to see they hunger. The only stat Kerry Collins could get was interceptions. Yeah. He must have thought throwing to the D counted as receptions. Yeah. The pass was legendary, but don't sleep on the present. No. Our secondary make quarterbacks avoid that direction. You trying to run the ball, you better hope your blockers work. Blockers you can juke, you can spin, but your destination.